Buddy McCurt, wearing green with orange, officially weighing in at 159 pounds. An outstanding professional record, consisting of 29 victories, including 20 knockouts with four defeats. He's the middleweight fighting pride of County Tipperary in Birmingham, England, former British champion, two-time European middleweight champion, the challenger, Matthew McDonough Macklin. And fighting out of the red corner with his trainer, Abel Sanchez, Wearing a light blue and official weight, 159 pounds. This Olympic silver medalist now has a perfect professional record. 26 fights, 26 victories, including 23 knockouts. His 88.5 KO percentage is the best in middleweight championship history and the highest among all active world champions today. From Karaganda, Kazakhstan, the reigning, defending, undefeated, IBO, WBA, middleweight, champion of the world, Gennady, Triple G, All right, boxers, you received my commands. You received my instructions in the dressing room. I expect you to obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. All right, I expect a good, clean fight. Let's touch gloves. Boom. Points out, he turned pro a couple of years before. Macklin is hoping that that experience. Very quickly, Steve Weiss club referee Eddie Cotton, the third man in the ring. Golovkin's positioning. And it is indeed Golovkin stalking Macklin now as he... <laughs> Golovkin missing with the right hand. Golovkin pops Macklin with the jab. He knocks his head back a little. And powerful, he's built like a fighter. He's not built like a bodybuilder. No, he has those live, loose muscles. Looks more like a freestyle swimmer. That's those are the want. ones that are responsive to what boxers need. Knocks Macklin into the ropes with a left hook. Golovkin, as we said earlier, stocking Macklin, lands a strong right and a left off the top of the head that makes Macklin real. Macklin knows that Golovkin... Quit circling toward his right hand. Usually, fighters who can punch like Golovkin in there haven't been many. You see it right there. Including the Olympic finals, so he doesn't have an Olympic gold medal as Andre Ward does. He's more technical. He has a... Right hand landed, left hand moved Macklin's head. That. Oh, that right hand of the body was vicious by Golovkin. Now Macklin gets in a right hand and momentarily drops. Macklin ble bleeding freely from that cut above the beat. But his Macklin's reaction in the corner was like, this guy isn't ordinary. This is not a normal situation. Oh, Body right shot by Golovkin. Up. Uppercut landed between Macklin's guard. Macklin with the guts of a burglar fires a big left hook and lands it. The responsibility of every fighter, and Macklin showing it here. Absolutely. Macklin pressing the action here in round three. Wants to try to get something done that will in some way discourage Golovkin from stalking the way he is. Macklin's not going to pack it in and lay down. Golovkin's going to have to do what he has to do. Like that. To get Body Macklin shot out of here. Puts Macklin down. Four, down twice five, against Sergio Martinez. Six, May not seven, be able to get up from this. Eight, Probably can't. Nine, That's it. Ten, and that'll be the 14th consecutive knockout for Gennady Golovkin. It comes in the third round. And look, Macklin's style. He's not a slick guy. He's there to be hit. We understand that. But that's not normal. What we just saw was not ordinary, it was extraordinary. That kind of punching power. Good win by Golov. What a spectacular show by Gennady Golovkin. He 
appears to be everything we asked or were told that he would be. And Macklin is still on the canvas after that sensational body shot knockout. Looked to be a perfect shot from Golovkin. And I was in the middle of saying that he's going to have to do that in order to get Macklin out of here. Macklin wasn't going to just pack it in. And he did just that. It looks as though it was just one of those left hooks to the body. A perfect liver shot, which absolutely paralyzes the lower body. Take another look, Andre. Set him up with the right uppercut. Didn't want to hit him with it because he really wanted the big left hook to the body. Landed right on the money. And you don't recover from that in 10 seconds. As you see, Macklin is still on the ground right now. The way it's been scribed, described to me by fighters, Andre, it's like an electric jolt to the system which basically disconnects everything from the waist down. Yeah, it's hard to breathe. It's almost like you're being suffocated until you slowly get your breath back. And again, that takes a lot longer than 10 seconds to do. That was Oscar De La Hoya on the canvas after Bernard Hopkins caught him that way. That was Leonard Doreen of Canada after Arturo Gatti caught him that way. And that was Macklin here tonight after the sensational body shot by Golovkin produces his 14th knockout in a row and continues his surge toward the top of the middleweight division. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Foxwoods Resort Casino, we go to the official time of the stoppage. One minute, 22 seconds of round number three. The winner by knockout victory, his KO percentage climbs, his undefeated victory record climbs, and he is still the IBO WBA middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Rick.